Hi guys, AT Dap here and welcome to episode 7 of the Road to the Charity Game. Let's get this video started. So in this episode we are going to look at the new legends that have been announced over the last couple of weeks to add to Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, Danny Mills, uh, Brian Stock and Paul Effernan. Some very good legends and some great legends added recently as well. But first, we have got the small matter of the Wildlife Park 5K today, haven't we? So, fitness is still going. I haven't really trained for a run. You have, haven't you? I always train. <laughs> I've been more training to try and lose a bit of weight, build strength in my legs and my core. But, in all honesty, I forgot that this were on so early. So, I haven't really focused on it, but... Vicky's going for a time of 36 minutes. I just want to enjoy my run. I'm not bothered about making it as the best. So I just want to go around and enjoy looking at the animals as they've just woken up and been released. So, yeah. Yeah, so I'll probably stick with Vicky. I'd like to get a personal best on this, but I don't think I will because my PB is 29. I don't think I'll get that today. We can give it a go though, so next time you see us, we will be either running around the park, if there's something that I can show you while I'm running, or it will be at the finish line. Let's go and do it. So well done, number 269 is flying for him as well. Well done, Julie Davis. Brilliant finish. Number 549, you're looking good there. Carol Hanfield, you're well done, Carol. Nice outfit there. Lovely outfit. Well done. Look at this young lady. So that's the Wildlife 5K done. Didn't do sub 30. Uh, my Fitbit says 31.04. My phone said 31.30, I think. So we'll wait, we will wait until the official timings come out, the chip timings. What did you do, Vicky? My Fitbit says 32 minutes 49 seconds. 32.49, that's good. Your target was 36, so you've smashed yours. I didn't do mine. I think I have a target, though. You just wanted to get round. Yeah, just get round, injury free. And I feel quite good, so a bit more training now because we've got the half marathon next month, haven't we? And a bit more running training should help me out in the football game. Um, show you the medal. That's a medal, very nice. Show you your medal. No, it's not. That's your medal. You earned that. That's my medal. They're not the same, they're very different. So now we will go on to see what legends have been announced since the last video. So before we get into the legends who have been announced over the last couple of weeks, on the screen now is how you guys can get tickets if you want to come and watch some fantastic legends. It's a great cause as well, so I would recommend coming down to Family Fun Day as well. Adults, £5 a ticket. Kids, £3 a ticket. And then there's family tickets available, which is two adults, two children at tenner. Just call 01302 762 576 or visit tickets.clubdoncaster.co.uk to get your ticket there. So on to the first legend of Doncaster Rovers it is James O'Connor, fantastic defender, 441 career appearances, 10 career goals. He signed for the Rovers in 2006 and he was part of a team that won the Football League trophy and the playoff final in 2008 against Leeds. O'Connor, he was named player of the season in 2009-2010 and he made 215 appearances for Rovers scoring four goals. I remember watching him as a kid, very very good player. The next legend for Donny Rovers is none other than Steve Foster. 658 appearances over his career, 19 goals, not bad for a centre back really. Signed for Rovers in 2002, he played a massive part in the conference years and the conference playoff final before Rovers started to move up the leagues pretty rapidly. Great defender, 116 appearances for the Rovers, he's going to help us out at the back on the day. Next up for Donny. So another defender it is Simon Marples. Again, similar to Steve Foster. 
signed in 1999. He was another key player throughout the conference years and in that conference playoff final. Um, made over 150 appearances for Rovers before heading to Chester. Career appearances, 216. No goals, but a very, very good defender. The next legend announced it was Mr Doncaster Rovers before James Coppinger, Colin Douglas, 497 career appearances, 57 goals. And as I said, it was the original Mr Doncaster Rovers. Uh, played for Rovers in two stints. First was 1981 to 1986. I wasn't even born then. And then he re-signed in 1988. He made a massive 468 appearances for Donny in his time, which was a record until James Coppinger came around. Next up is another player from the golden era. It is Richie Wellens, a fantastic midfielder, signed for Rovers in 2007. And he helped us win promotion to the championship and he helped us consolidate that position as well. Fantastic midfielder, great range of passing and career, a very good one, 609 appearances, 41 goals. But for Donny, he made 195 appearances, scored 15 times. Fantastic midfielder, looking forward to playing alongside him. And the last Rovers legend for this video is an absolute legend, it is Paul Green. Greeny, as affectionately known to the fans, 585 career appearances, 53 goals. He's played for Rovers for seven years, he signed in 2001. It was part of three promotions and the Football League trophy win as well. Um, very respectable, 277 appearances for Rovers. And he scored 33 times before heading to Derby. Onto the announced legends for Leeds United now, and we are going to start with it's Paul Green. He played for both teams. He's expected to run out for both teams on the day. We've already seen his career appearances and goals, but for Leeds, he signed in 2012 after being at Derby, um, and he played for Republic of Ireland at the Euros before signing for Leeds. Unfortunately for Green, it was a stop-start period of his career due to injuries but he only made 46 appearances for Leeds we did leave his mark on the fans he was one of the fans favorites and I can see why because I used to love watching him when I was younger I'm looking forward to playing with him more than against him on the day though next up for Leeds legends it was a name that I didn't recognize to begin with it is Simon Walton, 404 career appearances, 37 goals. Leeds fans, if you're watching, in the comments down below, do you remember watching Simon play for Leeds? He was a player who progressed through the through the youth system in 2004, which puts him under the category of one of our own. And I'm expecting a lot of passion from him because he is a Leeds supporter as well. He made 34 appearances for Leeds while at the club. So I'm expecting a passionate performance from him. Youngster, came through the ranks, still supports Leeds, still follows Leeds, and is one of their own, so he's gonna put the effort in. Next up for Leeds, it's another name that I didn't recognize to begin with, much as I think some of the Donny, Donny players will be with Leeds fans. It's Noel Whelan, 321 appearances, 61 goals, and Noel, is another one who signed as a young lad at Leeds. He had trials at Arsenal and Man United. We held out for his boyhood club, Leeds, to sign him in 1993. He made 48 appearances for Leeds, scoring seven times. He did lose his place to none other than Tony Eboa. That is a name that I do recognise. Noel does commentary for Leeds United now, so probably know his voice more than I know him. Once again, Leeds fans, in the comments down below, if you remember Noel playing for your team. A couple of names coming up now that I do recognise and I do remember. First one being Rod Wallace, signed for Leeds United Legends, 485 career appearances, 154 goals. 
So Rod signed for Leeds in 1991 and it was part of a team that won the old first division title back then and it will once again be teaming up with Hasselbank to form a decent looking attack on the day. Rod scored the 1993-1994 goal of the season and that was one of 53 goals in 212 appearances for Leeds. So Wallace and Hasselbank up front, we have got his work cut out for us. Next legend up, this one, when he was announced. It's a good one. Darren Huckabee adds pace to the team. He was absolute lightning back in the day. Signed for Leeds for a reported £6 million in 1999, and that was to add pace to the attacking line. 115 career goals, the majority of those in top flight in 466 appearances. However, it didn't quite click at Leeds. Um, he only scored four times in 52 appearances, and that was partly due to Alan Smith, Mark Viduka, and Michael Bridges taking first team spots at the time. Very, very good player at Coventry and Norwich as well. And the final Leeds United legend, this is a big one. Ian Hart, 523 career appearances, 85 career goals. He signed for Leeds in 1996 and for a left back he is absolutely deadly at set pieces. Um, played at Leeds for nine seasons so he is one of the longer serving legends and he helped the team reach the semi-final of the UEFA Cup in 1999-2000 to 2000 season and then he helped Leeds reach the semi-final of the Champions League in the 2000-2001 season as well. Ian made 264 appearances for Leeds while at the club and he scored 34 goals. So a very, very good legend. Good legends for both teams. It's shaping up to be a fantastic game. Just make sure you get your tickets and we will see you down there. So guys, that is it for episode seven some fantastic legends announced over the last couple of weeks like i say it's a couple of good teams getting put together it's going to be a fantastic day make sure you go and get your tickets I want to take this opportunity to send a big thank you out to everybody who's already donated it's not too late to donate the link to my donate page will be in the description down below but at the end of episode six we were on 981 pounds which is fantastic but it has got better it's going to be here we have reached £1,175, all going to Eve Merton Dreams Trust. Fantastic charity, fantastic cause. So big thank you, big thumbs up to each and every one of you who has donated. So, like I say, that's it for episode 7. Episode 8 training starts this week. Uh, I'm going to try and get a bit of footage of that. But it is getting very, very close to game day. I am getting very, very excited if you've enjoyed this if you're looking forward to it stick a big thumbs up on it comment in the section down below as always thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one